Howdy, I am Charles Mason Schollmeyer, an undergraduate of the Emson program at Texas A&M. My faculty lead is Dr. Patrick Schamberger, and this is Burgoyne Relationships in Thermal Batteries to Evaluate PCM Composite Design. In our world, transient thermal management in pulsed electronics and intermittent demand in power generation and consumption leads to the need for thermal energy storage. Thermal energy storage can reduce the size and expense of cooling systems and can help shift demand, increasing the effectiveness of renewable power generation. The problem this research focuses on is finding how to design thermal energy modules that can store thermal energy at sufficiently higher rates for use in such applications. For latent heat storage using phase change materials, or PCMs, the energy density depends on the change in temperature and the material's latent heat. The rate of storage is not so trivial and has many factors that can contribute to determining it. Our goal is to develop a reduced order model to demonstrate how different design parameters affect energy density and energy storage rates and composite PCMs. For designing such a module, there are many factors that affect the power. There are the intrinsic material properties of the composite, i.e. thermal conductivity, latent heat, specific heat capacity, as well as the density of the material. There are the geometric considerations, the length, width, and thickness of the module, as well as the overall shape and metal distribution. Lastly, there are the environmental conditions, such as the inlet flow velocity and fluid temperatures. Here, you can see an example of composite PCM thermal energy storage module, and then a model of it in use. To view such broad spaces parametrically, or viewing many solutions, many assumptions are made about how the module will operate. Assumptions such as fins and PCM acting as an effective composite. This greatly simplifies the processing of the finite element analysis. Other assumptions were used that were verified by previous work. To start this broad problem, we fixed many of the parameters and swept through only two, the metal volume fraction and the thickness of the PCM layer, or H-comp. The optimal module will depend on what metric is sought. As you can see, the best combination of the H-comp and metal percent is slightly different for the energy per unit mass versus the energy per unit volume modules. Each line in the graph represents one metal volume fraction over different thicknesses, with color representing the metal volume fraction. But energy density is only part of the problem. We must also consider the power density. This is found by taking the energy over time, and can be very tricky to show, but electrochemical research has a solution. A Ragone plot is a standard graphical representation used to investigate the relationship between power and energy. This graph can be used to show how much of a theoretical energy storage density must be sacrificed to achieve a particular rate of energy storage. Ragone relationships offer an approach to critically analyze the dependence of material performance on different design parameters. For example, as can be seen by focusing on graph B in shorter time scales, where power is more important, the modules have higher metal volume fractions, but as you approach the limits of these time scales, you get into much lower metal volume fractions. It is also worth noting that these lower power modules come much closer to the material's theoretical limit of energy storage, which at lower temperatures is the latent heat of fusion. Broadening the question, we look at using different materials as conductors and different inlet temperatures. These different materials demonstrate how different design metrics of interest change the optimal module. For example, our hexadecane copper module performs much worse in energy and power per unit mass due to the higher density of the copper, but this module is quite competitive when viewing energy and power per unit volume. Looking at inlet conditions, there are major changes in power as the driving force of heat transfer increases or decreases, but it only has a minor impact on the energy density. At these temperature levels, the latent heat is dominant over sensible heating. In conclusion, we have demonstrated optimal design conditions depend on the metric of interest. The optimal module is purpose-built depending on the thermal load, time scale, and if mass or volume is the primary consideration. These initial PCM composite Ragone plots also pave the way for broader Ragone plots focusing on latent heat energy storage for aiding future design and future work using other types of latent heat storage. And lastly, with these parametric sweeps, we designed a module for experimental testing at a certain time period and inlet conditions.